So I'm just cleaning up after my um, dioxane from ethylene glycol video. I haven't been filming anything because nothing's been very interesting. But I thought I'd just film something here, just on the off chance that this is something interesting. So this isn't the first initial reaction mix. This is the, the second like distillation. And we got um, some pure dioxane out and then everything tarred up and spilled over. So I redistilled it and this is the stuff that's left over. And it had a higher boiling point than the boiling point of dioxane. So there's water and ethylene glycol. There's still quite a bit of liquid left. I assume that's just because I distilled over ethylene glycol originally from the original reaction mix. However, what is interesting is right down the bottom, there's something I can't quite explain yet. What is that? Liquid metal. You can see me in the reflection there. Hello. That's a cool shot of the lab. Look how dirty it looks. Anyway, let's focus on the bits of liquid metal. What are they? Very strange. Alright, I got a small amount of it out here. Um, it's hard to see because the stuff is so black. There. I mean, they look like either sodium or mercury. Both of which are very obscure to be in there. How on earth did we end up with that in there? Well, I mean, there's a quick test to see if it's sodium. Let's try that one. All right, so I've come back to this today because I realized I added a heap of water to it and I stirred it up and I thought all the little bits of metal disappeared and I thought because they were such tiny little bits of metal, um, if they were even sodium uh, potassium alloy, there was just no reaction. Well, I could no visible reaction because it was such a tiny amount and the stuff disappeared. But now everything's settled. I've come back. There's still the water layer and it's hard to see, but there's definitely still little bits of metal down the bottom there. In fact, it might be impossible to see on camera. There's still definitely little bits of metal down there. And I was like, well, that it can't possibly be sodium potassium alloy if there's still bits of metal on there. And then I was like, well, what can it be? And I realized, hold on, there is a source of mercury in this. And uh, I went to the dirty glassware pile, which is still dirty. Uh, and here we are. I didn't notice because it was so dirty. But look at my mercury thermometer. Look at the end of it. Well, he's smashing along the line here at some point, and it's leaked. It's still got the line there at some point, so it's actually not measuring too wrongly, but obviously the bulb is all leaked into the flask, <laughs> um, which does explain one observation that I had. All right, the temperature's falling, even though the uh, water bath is still at you know maximum temperature, so... I kind of think we're running near the end of the dioxane. We don't seem to have heaps in the flask. I cut it really early. I cut this off because I thought, well, there's no more dioxane in here, despite there being like a shit ton of liquid. But actually, it was because my thermometer was stuffed, so we were losing temperature, even though we were still distilling over dioxane. I might as well just redistill some of this because it's probably still mostly dioxane. I have not shattered a thermometer into a flask before, but I guess it's the first time everything. Maybe some people worked that out already, but I can blame Nerd Rage for getting me all excited about sodium uh, when we're talking about dioxane. I was like, I've done it. I've done it even better than Nerd Rage, but no, it's just fucking mercury. <laughs> Let's read this, do this now. All right, well, this is where all my missing dioxane went. Oh, hey, we're still in the flask. Where are we sitting at? Just under 80. So, yeah, look, this is all dioxane really coming over now. And uh, don't let me use a water bath again, okay? Everyone's suggesting sand and oil baths, and that's correct. That's the correct option, right? If the boiling point's above 60 degrees, don't let me use a water bath, all right? Hold me back. Heating mantle is just so much faster. I've wasted too many hours fucking waiting for water baths to heat stuff and then just slowly distill through. This has been a very short video because I thought it was going to be a lot more interesting than it was. But thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you on a full video later on. Woo.